Hey guys, so I've been doing little art talks now for almost exactly two years. I started this channel on February 16th, 2014 and posted my first video on March 10th, 2014. As embarrassing as some of the older videos are, I'm actually really proud of the stuff I make. I'm really happy with the way that little art talks has grown and how much I've learned at doing all of these videos. And while it's not a job job that will pay the bills or anything like that, I take it very seriously. One of the coolest parts of running a YouTube channel is talking to you guys, and one of the questions I get asked a lot is, what do you do? A lot of people ask if I'm an art history student, and I was an art history student, I no longer am. I double majored in fine arts and art history, and I graduated two years ago? A year ago? two years ago. A lot of times people are just curious and want to know and I'm happy to share, but a lot of times they're also from younger people who are maybe studying or want to study art or art history and are curious about what kind of job prospects there are out there. And because of that I want to tell you a little bit more about what kind of jobs I've had in the past and then talk about what I'm doing right now. I will preface this by saying that everyone is different, everyone has different interests, different skill sets, different ideas of what kind of jobs they want to have and so on. My experience is not going to be anyone else's experience. I've worked throughout high school, throughout college, and I've had multiple jobs at once, so I do have a really long list of random things that I've done. In high school I had a really cool job where I got to make films, which I still use those skills to this day. Random enough, I've also worked in a lab where we tested water quality in San Francisco runoff. I tutored kids in a bunch of things, I taught arts and crafts, I also taught basic drawing. In college I worked in the film school's tech office, which basically meant I got to play with cameras all day, I bundled up equipment to send out to film students, and I got to learn how to fix cameras, which was awesome. I worked as a photographer a photographer, a graphic designer, a photo editor, and near the end of school and after school I worked in an art gallery in Santa Monica. As if all of those weren't random enough, when I returned to San Francisco I worked in marketing for a game company. And while I'd like to say I was pretty good at my job, I wasn't something I wanted to do in the long term. In 2015 I left that job and since then I have been what I lovingly refer to myself as a bum. For the first time since high school, I didn't have a job, but I was still working and doing things that I really cared about. As you know, of course, I have little art talks. I was also starting a business with my sister called Art and Cove. We create and sell backpacks like this one right here. Whoosh. So that's my job. I'm a co-founder of a little company that's actually launching today, which I'm so excited about. I've been working on this for so long. And I just wanted to share this with you guys because it's really exciting. Now I'm not telling you guys this because I want to be like, oh I'm so skilled and smart that it's so easy for me to get all of these jobs. I'm not saying that. It definitely took a lot of effort and I had to learn everything along the way. I'm also not telling everyone to go buy this backpack though if you want to check it out. I'd be really grateful if you like it. But I want to convey that there's so many different options out there if you are willing to go look for it. Most likely you're going to try a couple different things before you find something that really clicks with you. I've learned so much from every single job I've ever had and I use pretty much all of the skills still for my current position. It's taught me a lot about who I am and what kind of person I am and what kind of worker I am and it only helps me position myself in a way that makes me happy, which is what we all want to do, right? When I tell my friends about what I do, I get mostly two different reactions. One, that is so exciting, I'm so happy for you, and two, that is really scary. Oftentimes, it's both reactions. But for me, it's not all that different from my previous jobs. Yes, there's obvious differences, like now I'm my own boss and I have a lot more responsibility, but there's a lot of similarities too. Every time you start a new job, there's going to be things that you don't know how to do already, and you have to just teach yourself. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. I can confidently say that I don't know everything that you need to do to have a company, but we're really diligent about teaching ourselves. Same thing for little art talks. I didn't know how to do all the things I had to teach myself, and now I'd like to say I'm pretty decent at this YouTube thing. 
Really, the main difference is that I don't have someone looming over me to make sure I get my tasks done, though I do have my sister and she's a pretty good boss. Oftentimes, the hardest part of doing something that scares us is getting over the fear and just doing it. Worst case scenario, you don't like your job and you go get another one. And you've already been through that process once before, so no biggie, you can do it. The most important thing I think is to stay true to what makes you happy and excited and driven to keep growing, to get to wherever you want to go. Lil Art Tox and Arden Cove were both born with the same attitude even though they're very different things. Lil Art Tox, I make videos that I really wish existed on YouTube but I couldn't find. Same thing with Arden Cove, we wanted a good looking professional bag that can securely carry a full size laptop which is kind of hard for women's backpacks if you've ever tried looking. I wanted to put things out there that I wanted to exist in the world, so I did it. They both make me really happy and I'm excited to keep expanding a little art talk videos, expanding the bags in our store, to keep making awesome things. That's just what makes me excited and ready to work every day. I really hope you guys think this is cool and if you are interested, please check us out on artincove.com. We also have a YouTube channel if you want to follow more about the company. I'm going to be posting more about the bags there but also some more businessy things if you're interested in any of that. My sister and I are both really open to talking about starting a business and everything we've learned because everything has been such a learning process. We have a Twitter handle at Arden Cove as well as an Instagram, also at Art and Cove. And while we're on this self-promotional train, don't worry, I'm only going to do this once, you guys. You can also check out my personal YouTube channel, which I'll have a link for in the description box. I mostly post vlogs, travel vlogs, and food vlogs. Definitely not as frequently updated as Little Art Talks, but one of my goals is to really just ramp up the uploads over there. I'm going to be posting more behind the scenes and stuff like that. I also have an Instagram, Karen Yuen, Karen with an I, and then Y-U-E-N. My name is pretty unique, so there you go. And then I also have a Twitter, which is Karen J. Yuen. There's a little J in there because someone took Karen Yuen, which is a bummer. This description box will just be all links. Thanks so much to you guys for such a wonderful year two. I'm so excited for what year three has in store for us. Next video is going to be back to normal. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you guys next time.